Queen Elizabeth II has begun to offload more of her duties to Prince Charles and Prince William, forcing the Duke of Cambridge to up the ante and preparing for his future away from shared goals with Prince Harry, royal author Juliet Ryden. The Queen has started to share more official duties with her son and grandson to help them prepare for their future role on the throne of the UK. The increase of responsibility to the Crown has pushed Prince William to do more heavy lifting thus causing the Duke of Cambridge to diverge from the common path he had set out with Prince Harry, royal author Juliet Ryden suggested. Speaking to Nine News Australia, Ms Ryden said, the two brothers have very different roles. Prince William is going to be king one day. The Queen is 93 and she's offloading a lot of her work both to her son and to her grandson. William has really had to up the ante and take on a lot of this heavy lifting. Speculation around a split between the brothers has been growing for over a year, with experts interpreting the recent decision to have Harry and wife Meghan Markle break away from charity endeavors shared with William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, as a further sign of a rocky patch in their relationship. Ms. Ryden continued, This is Prince Harry and Prince William going their separate way with their wives, they're almost setting up two separate courts. It did surprise me because back in February 2018 we had that wonderful Fab Four on stage, doing wonderful things. A whole brave new world for the royal family. We'd never seen this sort of presentation, it was almost like a brand presentation. We've never seen that sort of thing before so it felt like this was going to be the way forward. Meghan had joined the three to become four and together they were going to take on the world. It does feel little strange so soon after to announce the split. Meghan Markle made her official debut as a royal when she appeared together with Prince Harry, Prince William and Kate to discuss their new partnership at the Royal Foundation, the charitable organization the two princes had set up in 2009. But the Royal Foundation last month confirmed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will depart the foundation in a move designed to best complement the work and responsibilities. The palace said the foundation will become the principal charitable and philanthropic vehicle for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will establish their own new charitable foundation with transitional operating support from the Royal Foundation. In addition, both couples will continue to work together on projects in the future, including on the foundation's mental health program, Heads Together. Prince William and Prince Harry will attend the Kunvi Shai Srivadana Prabha Memorial Polo Trophy on July 10 at the Billing Bear Club in Berkshire together. It is unclear whether or not they will be in the same team or if their wives, Kate and Meghan, will attend. The tournament is named after former Leicester City football owner Vishai Srivadana Prabha who was a keen polo player. Mr Srivadana Prabha tragically died along with four others in a helicopter crash in October after leaving the King Power Stadium following his team's Premier League match with West Ham United. And William and Kate will attend their nephew Archie's christening at St George's Chapel on July 6. The couple is not believed to be in line to become godparents to baby Archie Harris in Mountbatten, Windsor, as siblings traditionally have other family members or close friends take on the important role. Other family members will also attend the small service Meghan and Harry have organized in the spot they got married in last year. Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall are expected to travel from their London home to Windsor for the ceremony but the Queen may miss the service due to previous engagements.